Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial video on this channel. Today I want to give a quick overview about the bare minimum of scripts everyone should know about if they want to improve their creative build style. And as usual, right after the intro. A couple of years ago, when I started playing Space Engineers, rovers have been a thing I had spent a lot of time with. But it was a very short way from building some basic rovers with a more or less nice design to trying around with some custom-made off-road suspensions. But there's a problem with constructions like this. The thing is, if you're dividing the suspension from the cockpit with a subgrid, they won't work together. And that's the same as with the Caterpillar truck from the beginning of this video because that's a small grid construction standing on a large grid for having these bigger wheels. And the solution for both of them is Whiplash Subgrid Wheel Control Script. But hold on, I know some of you aren't very experienced with scripts or even are a little afraid of handling them. But all it requires is to have the in-game script enabled in your world settings and to place a block somewhere on your creation and load the script into it. And you're ready to go. Now let's say you want to do some thrusters with a different angle than just the 90 degrees attachment on the main grid. Or you want to put them on rotors for having the option to change their direction. But very much the same as with the suspensions, you won't get control over these subgrid thrusters. But once again, there's a nice plug and play script made by Whiplash. And same as with the subgrid wheel control, there's nothing else to do than just loading it into any programmable block somewhere on your creation. And to complete this set of three, here's the subgrid gyro manager. Does this need further explanation? Well, plug and play if gyroscope on subgrid. Let's proceed with a more advanced script. At least since the Warfare 2 update, tanks have become a thing in Space Engineers. If you ever tried some of the many from the workshop, you may have noticed that there's a rear skid steering, like this one here. And again, there's a script responsible for this. And same as the others, the skid steering script is made by Whiplash. But this one needs you to play some gyroscopes and create a block group with the control seat, suspensions and the gyroscopes in it, named skid steering to work. And here's one more, made by, yeah, Whiplash. The MART, or Mouse Aimed Rotor Turret script, is great for building custom turrets. But isn't that obsolete since we have this, you might say? Well, not at all. Because the MART script still can provide a couple of things, the turret control block doesn't. And one is, with the MART you can have multiple azimuth and elevation devices. Also, it does have a gun stabilization, which means the gun holds its direction while the chassis is moving, as you can see from this example. But the MART requires a little bit of extra work. First of all, you need to give the prefix azimuth or elevation to the names of the rotors or hinges for the movement. Next, you have to group all parts of the turret, including the gun, rotors, hinges, control seat and the programmable block and name this group MART. Usually this already works as intended, but I recommend testing it and if necessary to adjust rotor torque and the turning angle. That's it about scripts for today. I hope this brought you some new ideas or at least some solutions for already existing ideas. And here's the last thing in my own interest. As things go now, it seems I will find a lot more time to widen my content by a lot very soon. And if you don't want to miss that, please like and maybe comment this video, but most important, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.